Look at Michael, y'all. Little preview, Michael to AT. So if you're excited to see Michael in the next man animation, just know this one. This, this is Michael, 150%. Right here, you see how she's looking? <laughs> Everybody. I hope y'all are doing really really well. It's been a couple weeks since the last vlog and I have missed y'all I've been thinking about y'all every single day and I hope y'all are doing well This is like the fifth take that I've tried to do the little welcome intro thing because It feels really weird to be on camera. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a little little, little nervous rumbles in the tummy had to uh I don't think y'all needed to know that, but we're here. So first things first, um, I hope everybody's doing great. There's been a lot of craziness going on on social media, uh, a lot of foolishness, but it's entertaining, right? Speaking of entertaining, I am going to open up a couple things that you guys have sent me. I got a couple things in my PO box and I'm so grateful. I cannot believe y'all take the time to think about me. So first things first, Ethan. Ethan wrote me a letter. I wish I can read, I won't read the whole thing, but Ethan from San Jose, California, you already know. Here it says, hi Alexis, long time no letter, so here I am. Thanks for the postcard you sent me, I hung it up on my bulletin board. Ethan, I have one of your letters on my bulletin board as well, uh, just hung up. I keep all of y'all's letters, all y'all's cards are all over the house. I'm looking at two right now that I got like last year. I have like six more cards in my room, I just have them everywhere so I've been wa binge watching your videos times have been tough in california uh, i was supposed to move out for college around now but as you know corona is having her world tour yes she is uh, <laughs> ethan reminded me to vote thank you i sure will and y'all make sure y'all go vote too i talked about that in the last live stream please go vote oh i hope this letter reaches you well stay safe out there i'm gonna keep watching your videos in the meantime because you're my favorite youtuber hey ethan thank you so much i love oh, ethan this is going up on the bulletin board. Thank you so much, Ethan. I didn't want to read the whole thing for you, for the vlog, but this is a great letter and I will be writing you back uh, promptly, ASAP. Thank you so much, Ethan. I really, really, really appreciate it. Oh my God. All right, next one. I don't know who this is from. Arizona. Oh, what is this? Oh, it says happy. Oh my God. It's from Kenyatta. Look at that. Oh my goodness. From Carol. Okay, let me open it first. I love these little bags too. Let's let's see what it is first before we start talking. Happy belated birthday, Alexis from Kenyatta. Oh my God, thank you so much. Ugh, thank you so much. We're excited to share a piece of Carolina's. Okay, custom impressions with you. We hope this item makes a perfect gift for you and your loved one. Okay, Carolina's custom impressions. Sorry, Caroline. I said, I'm saying Carolina because I'm from uh, North Carolina, but it's Caroline's custom impressions on Instagram and Facebook. It looks like a keychain of some sort. This is so freaking cute. I love, I love this. It feels like, I think it's a keychain. It's going on my keys right now. Very, very classy. I'm going to cry. Are you are you serious? Are you serious? It's a freaking guitar pick. It says Pizza Addicts Anonymous Vice President. That's me. I hope y'all can see that. Pizza. My hand's shaking because I haven't eaten anything today yet. But with Queen Lex, this means so much to me. Honestly, this is like this is amazing. It's a freaking guitar pick. Kenyatta, thank you so much. This makes me want to cry. If I drank anything and I had any liquid in my body, I'm sure tears would be coming out right now. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful. <sighs> Kenyatta! Oh my God. Well, I will be uh, using this guitar pick. Thank you so freaking much. Speaking of crying, y'all, I have been... Okay, so yesterday I fell down the YouTube vortex again and I... Open while I talk. I fell down this rabbit hole of watching these ladies like take pregnancy tests and then tell their significant other that they're pregnant and like just proceeded to cry my eyes out in my room for like two hours watching these videos. Ridiculous. Even though I'm nowhere near being ready for a child, nowhere, <laughs> listen, I got things to do before that happens. So I spent yesterday crying, looking at babies and every time I see babies, I'm just tempted to burst into tears. I don't know if I'm getting old or what. <laughs> oh. Timer just went off, I need to go do my laundry. Okay, so this is from Leroy. Shout out to Leroy, thank you so much. This is a magnet, less than planning and whining, more sparkling and shining, period. Period, what else, what else is there to say? I'm putting this on the fridge right now. Be blessed and bless others, that is the motto. This looks like some sort of journal or something. Oh, it's got a little pen. Cute little notepad, this will really help me get myself organized. It says a mini pocket notepad with 100 wear and tear design sheets and a stylus ballpoint pen. 
Thank you so much. Cute. And, oh, hush, Leroy. Sorry I'm late. Birthday blessings to you. There's no such thing as being late. Thank you. Alexis, you have got to be the most amazing YouTube content creator ever. You create a vision and go after it. Play guitar, yes. Create animation, yes. You're so positive, a true miracle who flies the skies like a superhero. Freaking thank you. So very proud of you. Happy birthday. Thank you for allowing me to be one of your subscribers. You are a healing presence. All my best. <sighs> thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Leroy. Thank you. This really, really, really means a lot to me. I'm shook. I'm so shook. Beyond shook. All right. Save the big one for last. So this one is delivered by the Royal Mail. This is from Jody in the United Kingdom. All right, what is this? Y'all, I'm the worst at opening things. I will just like, if I wasn't on camera right now, I would just tear the box. I get so impatient, I just wanna open stuff and I just like destroy the package. All right, we got some packing stuff. Cute, happy birthday. Aw, from Kenyatta again, what the heck? Are you serious? Kenyatta, happy birthday. Y'all, if, if you're new here, my birthday was in July, but I don't check my PO box every day. Check it up about every couple weeks, so I'm a little late opening this, but thank you so freaking much. You know what, I'm gonna untie this the right way. I can, look at that. You just pull on the string and it comes loose. From the letter law. Ooh, and Vieta. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, aw. Oh, that's funny. It says you've been poisoned on the inside. Can you see that? That's funny. I'm gonna have to definitely let some friends use this as well, but I love this cup. It's so freaking classy, so cute. I can just see my black tea steaming in it right now. Thank you so freaking much. Oh my God. Y'all, thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending me stuff and for saying nice things and just being supportive and thank you for being patient with me during this time where the vlogs are a little more spaced out. I don't wanna bore you guys. I don't wanna just film the same stuff that y'all have been seeing, but the next couple months are definitely gonna be interesting. At the time of filming this, it is just a few days before I'm officially furloughed. I'm officially not a working flight attendant. I have to go through regular security like everybody else. I'm not working flights. So I've been, you know, doing a lot. I've been dealing with a lot and uh, moving and shaking and just getting my life together. So uh, that's why the vlogs are a bit more spaced out. I've also been working really, really hard just on my animation channel, on my animation videos. Y'all know about that. And that's just become my main priority, but especially these last two, three months. I've been like really, really, really busting my ass, working on it like it's my job. I get up every morning, I set my alarm, I get up before eight o'clock and I work on it anywhere from six to 12 hours a day, usually around eight hours. And um, I started doing animated TikToks, which I talked about in the last video. I've been able to crank out like three of those a week and that's been crazy. That's a lot. So in between working on the YouTube videos, the long videos on my other YouTube channel, been cranking out the animated TikToks. Those are just my babies. And animation is just like, it's so hard. It's not easy at all. It's hard every single time. It's hard now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more, it's still hard. And I love to see my hard work pay off. So like, even though I'm sitting there like, working on it for like 12 hours. I just did one a couple days ago I finished. That took me 14 hours from start to finish. It was like a minute long, but I wanted to push myself and with the effects and with the intricacies. Yeah, I'm just really, 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 really happy that I've been able to spend a lot of time on it, working on it consistently. The TikToks are shorter, so they're helping me practice more and practice um, becoming a better animator, becoming a better artist. Um, and I'm just really excited to see the progress that I'm make in a year, in two years, in five years, like where, how, how much my skills have leveled up during that time. But I am loving it. I love to see the final product. It's like giving birth every single time. What I just showed you guys earlier is the next YouTube video that I'm working on. That'll be out in a couple weeks. It would have already been out, but like I said, I've been working on other things in between. I've had inquiries about people asking me if I can animate stuff for them. Just a lot's been going on and I'm just very, 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 very pleased and very happy and um, that's what's been going on. So it's just funny because before this quarantine started, before we even had a clue that anything like this was gonna happen, I was like really saving my money in order to take three months off of flying so that I could just focus on making videos. And because of this, I've had six months. I did work one month, but basically six months where I had time to actually sit down and rest and work and get a routine going. And this has just been such a blessing to me, this whole thing. I prayed for three months and I've gotten six and it's looking like I'm gonna get uh, 
even more time than that now. So I don't know what's coming up next. My camera's about to die though, so I do know that that's about to happen. Besides that, um, I applied for my first real regular regular job in the real world, I don't know, a week ago. And it's it was just so weird. Like the whole thing of applying for real jobs, thinking of working a real job, like being a flight attendant has the most flexibility I've ever seen as far as getting days off and pretty much doing what you wanna do, living your life. So I don't know. I don't know what the immediate future holds. I have a big fat question mark over it and I'm just very confused because I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, I do have faith and I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm literally doing the best I can do right now and that's probably the one of the first times in my life I've been able to say that. Uh, just living my best life and improving on myself fixed a lot of things about myself over this <laughs> whole quarantine. Uh, turns out I had a lot to fix. So I've done that. Still working on some things. I got a long to-do list. Alexis is a work in progress, but wow, all the things. It's, have you ever, if you think, when I look back and think about how good I used to think I was and how together I used to think that I was and I just fucking wasn't, like there's nothing worse than thinking you're good and all this other stuff and literally you're not. It's definitely taken me, and but I'm the type of person who loves to uh, torture myself and look in the mirror. I'm like, okay, what can I do to uh, improve? Yeah, I've been doing a lot to improve myself and I've been putting in work, so I don't know what else to say. God is gonna have to take care of the rest because I'm doing everything I can do. But yeah, I really hope that you guys are doing well. I'm going to, uh, the day you're watching this will be Sunday, so I'm gonna post this video and I'm I'm gonna go live Sunday night. So the day you're watching this, tonight, doing a live stream. Um, I don't know if you guys just want me to, do, I can do weekly live streams even if I don't have a video for that week, but y'all let me know. And I wanna know what y'all been up to because I've been missing y'all, I've been missing vlogging, but I don't wanna bore you with some BS. Okay, so that's the tea. I also do wanna let you guys know that I started a Facebook page. So I will link that down in the description below, a Facebook page that you guys can follow, you guys can message me, you guys can share my videos and whatever uh, more easily. And I'll also be posting some exclusive content on my Facebook page. And speaking of exclusive content, if you do wanna join my Patreon, that is also linked in the description down below. So go ahead and join the Patreon if you wanna do that. What else? Other than that, a lot of changes coming up as far as my life. There's gonna be a cute little, you know, cute little shakeups in my life. I can't wait to uh, show you guys and tell you guys what we got planned for the future since I, your girl ain't a flight attendant. And to be honest, how do I feel about this furlough? I am so ecstatic. I'm so excited to not be working flights for whatever reason, whatever the reason is. I'm excited to not be working any flights right now. I said this in the live stream, but it was starting to get depressing. It was starting to get like, to be like not the tea. Like just around the time that lockdown started, I was really not feeling it and the stability, the freedom I've had, the places I've gone, the people I've met. I've met some freaking incredible people working this job, um, made some great friends, and I've been to freaking Thailand, and I've been to Seoul twice, Japan, where else? I've been so many places. Y'all y'all remind me where I've been, but I've been, so, I mean, my mom went on a trip for the first time because of this job, so I have nothing bad to say about this job. I have no regrets, and we don't know how soon they're gonna call us back. It could be six months. It could could be less it could be a year it could be more so I would definitely come back to this job but I hope I really hope that I find something else to do besides this job I hope I can say that I'm just being honest um, some people are going to work for regional airlines regional airlines are hiring right now or so I've heard my soul can't take another flight attendant training so good luck to everybody getting furloughed I really hope that you find something no you will I'm not gonna hope you're gonna find something even better than you think even better than what you're doing even better than you thought things could be it's gonna be even better than that I'm naming and claiming that for you because that's the tea. So yeah, so yeah, I'm going to make myself some tea in my freaking cup from Kenyatta and I'm so excited. I'm gonna make myself some tea and I'm gonna read. I've been reading. I hope y'all don't mind me just talking, talking, talking. This is just, you know, a little update. Uh, I started reading books about um, slavery and um, just with everything going on in the world, I just want to be more educated about my people in general from the beginning to the end. So I've started starting with the Middle Passage starting with, you know, my people's getting kidnapped and taken over. So 
I read this book called The Slave Ship and now I'm reading another book and I can't remember the name because I just heard it yesterday but I'll put it right here. It's like, it was like $5 on Amazon but I'm gonna work my way through and just read as many books as possible um, about the history of my people. So if y'all have any books that you wanna recommend, let me know because that's the wave I'm writing right now. I wanna be as educated as possible because the world is crazy and we got taught nothing in school as it turns out. So um, yeah, it's insane that people could ever justify treating other human beings that way I just honestly can't wrap my mind around it so um, yeah this world is crazy but uh, I'm gonna make some tea now see this just to tempt me guess what sis it's not gonna work when you come back it's still gonna be four cookies in there you see this is a test this it's a test and it's not gonna work. Y'all, I got yelled at. I got yelled at like a week ago because Michael made brownies and I may or may not have. Yo, my tea seems low as, as f Yo, I didn't, I don't recall drinking this much tea. Anyways, Michael may or may not have made brownies and I may or may not have made, ate like three of them in one night. And I get yelled at, yet you leave cookies right where I can see them. It's not gonna work and it's not gonna happen. Secret, I'm about to tell y'all real quick. Secret is to perfect bagels, put it in the oven at broil, but on a low broil, put it in the oven, comes out perfect every single time. Comes out perfect. Little brown, little color, whatever. That's it, that is the end of the vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Yesterday I just made some dinner and filmed a couple videos, one for my Facebook and another one for my Patreon. So go check it out and I will see you all in the live stream tonight, but definitely confirm with Instagram to make sure that that is the case and the YouTube community tab, okay? All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later on and uh, take care, be safe, and I'll see you all a little bit later. So bye. Ooh.